retrieved the horn of Jorgen. Well done. You have now passed all the trials. Come with me. It is time for us to recognize you formally as Dragonborn. Between us, prepare yourself. Few can withstand the unbridled voice of the great. Training proceeds well, Dragonborn. Where did you learn of that? Who have you been talking to? The Blades, of course. They specialize in meddling in matters they barely understand. Their reckless arrogance knows no bound. They have always sought to turn the Dragonborn from the path of wisdom. Have you learned nothing from us? Would you simply be a tool in the hands of the Blades to be used for their own purposes? Do not be so sure about that. Beware. The Blades may claim to serve the Dragonborn, but they do not. They never have. As for me, kept from you only what you were not yet ready to know, are still not ready to know, as your question reveals. No, not now, not until you return to the path of wisdom. I have given my answer. Go and reconsider your course. Dragonborn, forgive me, I was intemperate. I allowed my emotions to cloud my judgment. Master Einarth reminded me of my duty. The decision whether or not to help you is not mine to make. No, I cannot teach it to you because I do not know it. It is called Dragonrend, but its words of power are unknown to us. We do not regret this loss. Dragonrend holds no place within the way of the voice. Only Parthenax, the master of our order, can answer that question, if he so chooses. 
He is our leader. He surpasses us all in his mastery of the way of the voice. You weren't ready, you still aren't ready. But, thanks to the blades, you now have questions that only Parthenax can answer. He lives in seclusion on the very peak of the mountain. He speaks to us only rarely, and never to outsiders. Being allowed to see him is a great privilege. Only those whose voice is strong can find the path. We will teach you a shout to open the way to Parthenax. Follow me. I will show you how to open the path to Parthenax. Wind, guide you. Parthenax lies through this gate. I will show you how to open the way. you my understanding of clear skies. This is your final gift from us, Dragonborn. Use it well. Skies will blow away the mist, but only for a time. The power to be embarked upon lightly. Keep moving, stay focused on your goal, and you will reach the summit.
Warlock. Greetings, Wundunik. I am Parthenax. Who are you? What brings you to my Strunmach, my mountain? I am as my father Akatosh made me, as are you, Dovahkiin. Tell me, why do you come here, Volan? Why do you intrude on my meditation? Hmm. Drem. Patience. There are formalities which must be observed at the first meeting of two of the Dove. By long tradition, the Elder speaks first. Hear my Thum. Feel it in your bones. Match it if you are Dovahkiin. your way here to me. No easy task for a jaw, mortal. Even for one of Dova's source, dragon blood. What would you ask of me? Ah, I have expected you, Proda. You would not come all this way for Tinvak with an old Dova. No, you seek your weapon against Alduin. Alduin Comate Teed. What else would you seek? Alduin and Dovakin return together. But I do not know the Thum you seek. Croesus, it cannot be known to me. Your kind, Jor, mortals, created it as a weapon against the Dove, the dragons. Our Hadrime, our minds, cannot even comprehend its concepts. Drem, all in good time. First, a question for you. Why do you want to learn this Thum? Prusa, as good a reason as any. There are many who feel as you do, although not all. Some would say that all things must end, so that the next can come to pass. Perhaps this world is simply the egg of the next Kalpa, Lean Vokin? Would you stop the next world from being born? Much to learn of the Dove, then. There is nothing else but philosophy to a Dova. It is no accident that we do battle with our Thum, our voices. There is no distinction between debate and combat to a dragon. T 
Timvak Loskra. For us, it is one and the same. But you have indulged my weakness for speech long enough. Croesus, now I will answer your question. Hmm. Do you know why I live here, at the peak of the Monavin, what you name Throat of the World? This was the very spot where Alduin was defeated by the ancient tongues. Varucht Unslad. Perhaps none but me now remember how he was defeated. Mm, yes and no. Viknus Nikaron. Alduin was not truly defeated either. If he was, you would not be here today seeking to defeat him. The Nords of those days used the Dragonrend shout to cripple Alduin, but this was not enough. Ok Mulag Unslad. It was the Kel, the Elder Scroll. They used it to cast him adrift on the currents of time. Not intentionally. Some hoped he would be gone forever, forever lost. Maye. I knew better. Tidbo Amativ. Time flows ever onward. One day, he would surface. Which is why I have lived here. For thousands of mortal years, I have waited. I knew where he would emerge, but not when. Hmm, how to explain in your tongue? The Dove have words for such things that Jaw do not. It is an artifact from outside time. It does not exist, but it has always existed. Rahwatlan, they are mm, fragments of creation. The Kele, Elder Scrolls as you name them, they have often been used for prophecy. Yes, your prophecy comes from an Elder Scroll. But this is only a small part of their power. Zofa Suyek. Tid Krent. Time was shattered here because of what the ancient Nords did to Alduin. If you brought that Kel, that Elder Scroll, back here to the Tid Ahran, the Time Wound, with the Elder Scroll that was used to break time, you may be able to cast yourself back to the other end of the break. You could learn Dragonrend from those who created it. Croesus, no. I know little of what has passed below in the long years I have lived here. You are likely better informed than I. Trust your instincts, Dovahkiin. Your blood will show you the way.
I cannot tell you in detail. I never heard it used. Korgon. It was the first Thum created solely by mortals. It was said to force a dragon to experience the concept of mortality. A truly von Mindoran. Incomprehensible idea to the immortal Dove. Return it here to the Tid Ahran. Then, Kele Vomindok. Nothing is certain with such things. But I believe the scroll's bond with the Tid Ahran will allow you a... a seeing, a vision of the moment of its creation. Then you will feel no dragonrend in the power of its first expression. You will see them, Wuthfadon, my friends, Haken, Gormleith, Feldir. The first mortals that I taught the Thum, the first tongues, the leaders of the rebellion against Alduin. They were mighty in their day, even to attempt to defeat Alduin. Sahrot Hun. The Nords have had many heroes since, but none greater. Sum Ark Mod Dremyolok. Greetings. Speak, I will listen. Vormendok, I do not know. Perhaps in the very doing, they erased the knowing of it from time itself. The Dove are children of Akatosh. Thus, we are specially attuned to the flow of time. Perhaps also uniquely vulnerable. I warned them against such a rash action. Even I could not foresee its consequences. Noost Lihon, they would not listen. Yes, there were a few of us that rebelled against Alduin's Thul, his tyranny. We aided the humans in his overthrow. But they did not trust us, ni of. Their inner counsels were kept hidden from us. I was far from here on the day of Alduin's downfall. But all Dove felt the sundering of time itself. Mm. I have taught the way of the voice for centuries, and the Thum since long before that. But no, Dovahkiin. Others do not come here to train anymore. Saran. You are the first in over a hundred years. I meditate on the Rotmulag, the words of power. I counsel in their use. It is enough for me. Knowing a word of power is to take its meaning into yourself. Contemplate the meaning of a Rotmulag. You will become closer to that word as it fills your inner self. Will I teach you, Dovakin? What word calls you to deeper understanding? There are three to master. Fus, Faim, and Yol. It is called force in your tongue. But as you push the world, so does the world push back. 
Think of the way force may be applied effortlessly. Imagine but a whisper pushing aside all in its path. That is Fus. Let its meaning fill you. Sum Ark Mora. You will push the world harder than it pushes back. Which calls to you, Dovahkiin? Fus, Faim, or Yol? Fade in your tongue. Mortals have greater affinity for this word than the Dove. Everything mortal fades away in time, but the spirit remains. Ponder the meaning of spirit. Unslad Zee, where mortal flesh may wither and die, the spirit endures. That is fine. Let that meaning fill you, Sum Ark Mora. You will find that your spirit will give you more strength. Which calls to you, Dovahkiin? Fus, Faim, or Yol? Fade in your tongue. Mortals have greater affinity for this word than the Dove. Everything mortal fades away in time, but the spirit remains. Ponder the meaning of spirit. Unslad Zee, where mortal flesh may wither and die, the spirit endures. That is fine. Let that meaning fill you, Sum Ark Mora. You will find that your spirit will give you more strength. Sum Ark Mora.